while now I've been considering doing a video on my top 10 or top 5 car buying regrets. Just a list of cars I saw in the store and didn't pick up. I've since stopped doing that now. Every new car I see, unless it's in like an 11 pack, I will buy them. But a car that would definitely have made that list is TG Castle. Now, I used to see this guy in the stores all the time. He was only in a four pack, so it was like $15, and I really should have jumped at that. And now he's like $24 loose off of eBay. So now I've, I at least have gotten a variant of him, his mud racing variant. But on my shelf, it's going to be really awkward since I'll just have the mud racer and not the normal variant. Anyway, guys, welcome back to yet another review today. We're going to be taking a look at XRS Mud Racing TG Castle Nut. Again, I don't have a normal TG to compare him to, but that's all right. Hopefully, he'll be re-released eventually. Fingers crossed. Knock on wood. Anyway, though, you can see he's labeled as revolting, which... The car's not that ugly, okay? I, I know you might think it looks kind of revolting. It's not all that ugly. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, I can't help myself from making these puns. They're kind of revolting also. I'm just gonna... Maybe I should put like a cringe counter in the corner there. So, some nice artwork of TG there. So as that real suspension picture and the try me bubble wow look you're moving the car but you're pushing the bubble down more than you're pushing down the car i don't know if you want to do a try me bubble they probably should have made the bubble a bit, a bit more sturdy there because i'm just kind of pushing down the if i want to actually move down tg i'm really pushing down the packaging as well your thunder hollow sign back there on the back, you got the same old description. The Extreme Racing Series XRS is a high-octane challenge that takes Lightning McQueen and his racing friends to a new level of competition. The first event will take place... Sorry, the first event of the series celebrates among mayhem at Thunder Hollow. Lightning and his fellow Piston Cup racers will learn the skills it takes to compete as extreme racers. The rest of the guy from this wave on the package. On the back of the package there. So, let's get TG out of the package. Now, I said I'd have to make that video a top five list because I'm not sure I could come up with ten examples. There are a lot of times where I wish I had been collecting cars and I wasn't, but not many times where I wish I'd picked up a guy in a store. So here's TG out of the package. As per usual, we've got that pretty good mouth detailing that I've come to expect with the XRS cars. He's got this very nice reddish brown and a huge grin on his face. He's definitely enjoying his time in the XRS. We've got the XRS logo, number... 48 there. There's also some interesting kind of camo like detailing. It reminds me of camouflage detailing. Full of like plus and minus signs. Because Revolting is a battery company, I believe. Well, their slogan is Rebuilt Alternators. But in Toy Story 3, we see that Buzz Lightyear is actually powered by Revolting Company batteries. So the plus and minus probably stands for the positive and negative charge there. Number 48 there. Moving on to the side, we have the bar on him is colored in, in white, which I think is a pretty nice choice. I think this is the right color to go for that. It really makes it stand out, although it should probably be covered in mud. If mud is splashing up to his sides, unless he's using some four-wheel drive extreme dirt decaling. And then his secondary sponsors are, I believe, the same as the other cars, Octane Gain, RPM, Revolting, and Clutch Aid. A very nice touch that they made with these cars was to not add the contingency sponsor for the Piston Cup. Since this is not a Piston Cup race, we don't know who's funding it. You can see this barrier, not barrier, but guard over here. Lightyear logo there. XRS. Revolting rebuilt alternators back there and a revolting logo there. With some plus and minus signs. We also have some mud flaps there, which is another very nice touch. And that's pretty much it. Anyway, guys, thank you all so much for watching. See you guys next time. I'm sorry if you found this video at all revolting. I try my best. Bye now.